Hello everyone, this is Francisco with the APRI I.O. team and I'm going to show you how to build a text messaging app using the Twilio API in just a few minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the user interface and I'm going to change the title here to text messaging and then for the user interface I'm going to need an input component for the phone number and a text area component for the message itself and then finally a button to send the message. We can style the button, we can even give it an icon and that's all there is to the user interface. The next thing I need to do is to create a service so I can configure the Twilio integration And in order to define the URL, I need to go to my Twilio website. Now you need to create, I've already created an account with Twilio. You can do the same. And then go to the API Explorer and then look at the documentation for the send message. And we need to copy this URL here and paste it onto our project. And this is going to be a post not a get, and then the request content type, it's going to be URL encoded. This is just what Twilio requires. The other thing here is that Twilio doesn't support cross-domain calls, so we're going to need a proxy. You can learn more about cross-domain service calls in our Dev Center under cross-domain service calls. Take a look. And then the next thing we need to do is define, actually, we need to add our credential from Twilio. And on that same page, you need to click here in order to discover the token and then just copy paste it uh, onto the URL. And just because this is a demo, we're going to put it right on the URL. Don't forget to add an at sign at the end. For a real production app, we recommend that you use our secure proxy so that the credentials for the API are not exposed to the client where they could be compromised. Uh, you can learn about that in the Dev Center. But now we need to define the request parameters for the API call, and Twilio requires a from, a to, and a body. And the from is just going to be my phone number. When you create my, my Twilio phone number, when you create an account with Twilio, you're going to be assigned your own phone number as well. This is going to be the default for my application because all messages sent by my users are going to be coming out of my own Twilio account. The other two parameters are going to be defined in runtime uh, by the user, of course. Now, rather than to create the response by hand, we have a cool feature where we can test the API and then automatically create the response. Let me show you. So I'm going to send a message to my Google Voice phone number and you heard the message uh, beep on my phone this is the JSON that came back from Twilio and now rather than create the response from scratch I can just import it um, as a response and you can see that the service response was created successfully we can look at it here, it saves us a lot of time, possibly also a lot of errors. So now, I can go back to the user interface and bind this service that I just created to the page that I created earlier. And I need to map the screen, the fields and the screen itself with the service request itself. So we know that the first text input is going to be the two phone number and then the text area is going to be the body and we're almost done um, what I need to do now is I need to um, tell the app what to do when somebody clicks the, um, the send button and so in the events tab um, I select the click event and I set it to invoke the service I just created and that's it. My app is ready to run. 
I'm going, I can now test it. I'm going to make it public so that you can test it as well. And I'm testing it at this point in the browser. So again, I'm going to send a message. And hello from appery.io. And in a minute, we should get my phone beeping again. And there it is. I just received the message. You can test this app from your phone by reading this QR code. And then, obviously, you can also export the app as a binary and then submit it to any of the app stores as well. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.